you this week of Veterans Day, which is Thursday. We're honoring all those who have served. And including introducing you to the 80 Central New York vets who flew with Honor Flight Syracuse's Mission 15. The flight took off in September after an 18-month pandemic grounding. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan joining the trip and showing us how the journey can be healing, can reopen emotional wounds, or both. There was a time Steve Burton may have skipped visiting the Vietnam Memorial. My wife says, why don't you go on the honor flight? You deserve to go on the honor flight. Many veterans proudly talk about their military service, but it wasn't easy for Burton. I didn't want anybody to know about my past because it was very, it was very trying. And uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to bother people with it including his wife, who didn't know details for decades until on a drive to the Adirondacks, it just spilled out. And I started shaking and I started crying. And my wife literally had to take the steering wheel and steer the car to the side of the road. And that's when I broke down at Toronto and told her what I experienced. What part of that hit you then? A lot, everything. Burton had reason to be hesitant, but a lot to be proud of. How many times were you wounded? I was wounded three times. And you, you kept going back? Yeah. Why? It was, seemed like the right thing to do. People are alive because he did. When his ammunition storage facility came under attack, he jumped in to minimize the damage, especially when he saw fire moving toward a chemical tank. And I, I looked, walked around it, and I found five sapno charges on it. So I pulled them off and disarmed them and threw them over the berm, and they exploded. And I got blown off of it. There was a sapno charge further down that blew, blew up, and I got blown off the amino pad. I ended up in Japan at the 106 General Hospital. His injury avoided dozens of deaths, bravery that got him nominated for the Medal of Honor. The tech came up to me one morning. And he, come up to me and we're all sitting there and he's, he stood in front of me and snapped to attention and saluted me. I said, what are you saluting me for? He said, I never, he said, I never met a person that was recommended for the Medal of Honor. I said, what are you talking about? Burton thinks some salty language he used toward his commander in the panic may be why he was awarded a Bronze Star instead. He survived his wounds, but Burton remembers all too well someone who did not a friend he met at training in Colorado, Johnny Richard Sargent from Jacksonville, Florida. They agreed early on to escort each other's body back to America if necessary, a promise Burton had to keep when he was called to the hospital in 1970 to visit Sargent. I went back to talk to the doctor. And while I was doing that, the nurse went in to uh, change his dressing and stuff, and he had passed away. At the wall today, Burton is looking for Sergeant's engraved name. What's the last name of uh, you're looking for? Sergeant. Several minutes of research with the guides turn up nothing. No sign of his comrade. For all Burton achieved, his mission feels incomplete. Do you think about him a lot? Yeah. There are days that I do think about him. There'll be a, a smell or a song that'll bring it back to me. And uh, my wife will see it. She says, you're thinking about Johnny, ain't you? And I said, yeah. And she says, okay. So she let it be, you know. And uh, I'll just go for a walk. And uh, just think about him. He was a good guy. <laughs> Makes me mad I can't find his name. He deserved to be in the wall. <gasps> well, we'll try. We'll try to find answers for you, okay? Thank you. He's lucky his memory lives on with you. Yeah. That's for sure. We're in touch with the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund and requesting archive records. 
so Steve Burton knows his fallen friend will be appropriately honored. Either way, he'll never be forgotten. Aboard Honor Flight Syracuse in Washington, D.C., Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Steve Burton, thank you for your service.